from ABC 26 News. An Orleans Parish judge is deciding if two hospitals covered up for a former doctor involved in a drunk driving death. Christopher Neighbors drove his car into Bayou St. John, killing Michelle Hansel. Hansel's family believes doctors at charity tried to hide the fact that Neighbors was drunk. ABC 26's Tom Bagwell is in the newsroom now with the latest. Tom. Liz, Hansel's mother and father say they were crushed when they lost their daughter in 1995. Today they testified they were devastated again when they found blood samples taken at charity the morning of the incident may have been tampered with. This is the car Chris Neighbors and Shelley Hansel were in that February night when it ran a stop sign at Wisner and Fredericks and plunged into a freezing cold Bayou St. John. At his sentencing, Neighbors testified he got out through the sunroof. Hansel never made it out of her seatbelt. Today, Teresa Lamb said when she checked Neighbors' blood at the NOPD crime lab, it tested .04, but she said it looked thinner and brighter than most specimens. A second test showed the actual blood count dangerously low. At one point, she wondered if the donor was dead. That's when police brought the blood back to charity. Dr. Monroe Samuels had the blood tested a third time. Today, he testified, quote, that sample of blood was diluted. Of course it's possible, but when and how and who, I don't know. He said he'd never seen a sample like it. The Hansels believe personnel at charity tried to cover for their colleague. Dr. Jean Friday admits some of the tests she ordered never got done, but she thinks conspiracy is too strong a word. This is Charity Hospital. This got not done a lot. Shelley's mom, Cookie, says she has to live every day with not knowing what really happened. She says that's worse than knowing the truth. Shelley's father says he won't rest until justice is served. If somebody would even come tell me we're sorry it happened, it should have never happened and it won't happen again. They've never owned up to that, and that's bad. At his criminal trial in 1996, Neighbors was sentenced to 15 years, the maximum. With good time, he is scheduled to be released March 20th, next month. Live in the newsroom, Tom Bagwell, ABC 26 News. Thanks, Tom. There was no comment today. The attorneys representing Charity and the LSU from, from representing Charity and the LSU Medical Center would not release a comment, and no word when the judge will rule. We'll be right back after this.